Fizzlebop, and I'm thankful that you have joined me today at Fizzlebop Labs for a special holiday experiment. In fact, I'm feeling besonders dankbar, which means extra thankful in German. Can you guess what holiday we're celebrating? Thanksgiving. You guys got it! If you guessed Thanksgiving, you're correct too. All right, here is a fizz fact for you. Thanksgiving holidays are celebrated all around the world. Though they're not all on the same day. In Germany, the holiday is called Erntedankfest. And in the United Kingdom, it's known as the Harvest Festival. Very interesting. Some might say, fantastic. <laughs> because you're about to make a squishy turkey, be sure to have everyone participate and make their very own squishy turkey. Then you'll have a rafter of turkeys. You know why? Because here's a fizz fact. A group of turkeys is indeed called a rafter. A rafter! So let's get going. Our experiment is quite fun, and I think it'll have you giggling a bit when you're all done with it. So gather your friends, and let's begin. Let's make a rafter of turkeys. Today at Fizzbop Labs, I am assisted by Kinley and Elsie. All right, let's get started. First, the Fizzlebop supply list. Warning, this experiment requires borax. So safety first, do not ingest borax. The supplies listed are per turkey. So if you want a rafter of turkeys, you'll need to have these supplies for each turkey you want to make. Okay, first up, we need to have nitrile exam gloves. There you go, and one for you. We need a tall glass, a half cup or 120 milliliters of white blue per person, one cup of water, measuring cups, one cup each, one teaspoon of borax, and we need colorful markers. Now that we have gathered our supplies, let's get to the experiment. First, we're going to put the glove fingers down in a tall glass and stretch the opening of the glove over the rim of the glass. This might require teamwork, so if you need help, ask for one of your lab mates to help you. Can you help Absolutely. All right, I'll hold that and you stretch it across. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you doing, Kinley? Get it? Wonderful. All right, next up what we're going to do is we're going to pour the glue, half of a cup or 120 milliliters into the glove, okay? So we're gonna measure our glue into these measuring cups and then pour it into the gloves. There's a half cup right there. And just remember, if you don't get all the glue into your turkey, that's okay. Next, we're gonna pour a half cup or 120 milliliters of the water into the glove. But we can reuse the actual containers that we had for the glue. That way, we get as much glue from that container as possible. Now, here's a fizz tip for you. When you're pouring the water, you can open up part of your glove to make sure it doesn't overflow. Otherwise, you might have air trapped underneath the glove and cause it to inflate and then spill. Is fantastic. How did yours do, Kinley? At least a little bit of air here. A little bit of air release. Right, we'll open up. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, there we go. All right, next step. We're going to take the glove out of the glass, hold the glove closed, and carefully squish it to mix the contents. You may also want a partner or a parent to help you with this step. They're going to mix the glue and water together as best they can, getting the whole solution together. Wonderful. While they continue to do that, I'm going to mix 
In a separate measuring cup, I'm going to mix our one teaspoon of borax with the remaining half cup of water or 120 milliliters of water in the mixture. Okay, your mixture looks great. If you want to go ahead and put your mixture back into your uh, into your cup, Elsa, you can keep mixing. Okay. I have one teaspoon of borax and a, the remaining half cup of water. We're going to mix that together well. Finley, you want to add this to your glove. And again, if you need to release some pressure by opening up the glove so that the air doesn't get too power, too uh, filled up in there, you can do that. It will help give room for the water to fill up. Fantastic. All right, Elsie, you want to put yours back in? Wonderful. Another half cup of water for Elsie. And a teaspoon of borax. Now that we have our water and borax mixture into our glove, we're gonna move on to our next step. Let's clear a couple things off here so we have some space on our table for this part. The next step is going to be to knot the glove like a balloon, then squish the glove to mix all of the ingredients. Here is another fizz tip. Do not squish the glove too hard or you might end up with an exploding turkey. This part can get kind of messy. So work with a team, and you may even want to have some paper towels around as you do this. First, we're going to take this and we're going to knot it. Timmy, do you want me to knot it for you? So we're going to pull it up, get as tight as we can. Stretch it around the fingers like this. Push the end, just like you're tying a balloon through here. We did it, look at that, Elsie. We got the end of the glove through, and we pulled it tight. All right, continue to squish that, but again, don't squish it too hard, because we don't want to have an... Exploding turkey. No exploding turkeys. Definitely not an exploding rafter. <laughs> Wonderful, looks like those have been really squished, but not exploded. Our last part is the creative part. We're gonna decorate our squishy turkeys with those markers. Uh, do you guys have a name picked out already for your turkeys or not yet? What do you name your turkey? Ben. Ben, how about you? I'm going to name my Mark. All right, let's start decorating Ben and Mark. I hope when you're done, you'll snap a picture and post it of your marvelous turkeys. Tag us at Fizzlebop Labs and use the hashtag, hashtag Fizzlebop. Those are wonderful turkeys. I like Ben and Mark. Dr. Fizzlebob, what's happening? Well, let me tell you. In this experiment, two of the ingredients, glue and borax, mix together to form long chains of molecules. These chains are called polymers. The water in your glove allows these polymers to move around inside. And when they do, they stretch and they stick together. So, there you have it. You've created a turkey full of polymers. And that's something to be thankful for. That's it! Enjoy your turkey or your rafter of turkeys. And I hope you'll share your creations with me by tagging at Fizzlebop Labs and using hashtag Fizzlebop. I am thankful you joined us here at Fizzlebop Labs, and I hope you had as fantastic time as I did. Join us here each week for a brand new experiment. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel.